I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Dodgers vs. Padres My team pick is Los Angeles for the win. The Los Angeles pitching staff is also sitting atop the league with a 3.25 team ERA in 39 games. They've held opponents to a .214 batting average and also had a 1.12 whip as a group. The Dodgers bullpen has gone 7-7 with 13 saves and a 3.24 ERA in 152 innings of work. Overall, the staff had struck out 328 batters. Paxton has been excellent thus far and comes into one having won his last two starts. The Southpaw tossed a season-high 6.2 innings last time out, allowing a run, 5 hits, and 2 walks. Paxton has given up just 26 hits and only 3 home runs through 32.1 innings of work, but has struggled with command at times, issuing 24 walks. The Dodgers come into this series with a certain momentum and likely a little revenge on their mind after dropping two of three games at home against the Padres back in April. Paxton suffered his worst outing the season against San Diego, throwing a career-high eight walks, something that will certainly not happen again. Despite the free passes, he only gave up three runs and three hits, so he is more than capable of taming this lineup. The Dodgers starter is also coming off of a couple of strong starts and of course, he has an insane lineup backing him. On the other side, Waldron has been a complete mess of late and having to face said lineup is not what the doctor had in mind to cure him. Los Angeles can get a big upper hand on the division this weekend and this game is crucial to them doing so. Take Los Angeles. My total pick is over 8.5 runs. Pitching hasn't been as solid as the offense has for San Diego, posting a 4.11 team ERA through 40 games. The staff was second in the National League with 338 strikeouts over 354.1 innings, but were also fifth with 126 free passes given. Padres pitchers have also yielded an NL high 47 home runs. Waldron has had a rough go of it of late, catching losses in his last two starts and three of his last four. In that stretch, the right-hander has allowed 18 runs, 17 earned, 25 hits, and 7 walks over 19.2 innings. He allowed 4 home runs in that span after allowing just 1 over his first 3 starts of the season. In 5 meetings this season, the over is 3-2 and the teams have averaged a combined 9.1 runs per game. This season, there have been 42 games between the two teams that have hit the over this season. Waldron has given up runs by the bunches of late, so expect the Dodgers' heavy lumber to get going early. Paxton has been strong of late, but has also allowed runs in all but one start this season. Before the start of the series, Los Angeles had scored six runs or more in five of nine games. In their eight games prior to the weekend, San Diego's offense scored six or more in five of them. The over is 7-3 in the last 10 meetings between the division rivals. Take the over. Royals vs. Angels. My team pick is Royals to win. The Kansas City Royals are attempting to climb the AL Central standings. They are currently tied with Minnesota, as both teams are 1.5 games behind the division leading Guardians. Kansas City is coming off a series win against the Brewers, where they took two out of three home games against Milwaukee. They followed that up with a 10-4 win in the opener in Los Angeles. Dyron Blanco and Vinny Pasquantino each homered in the third inning to open up a 4-0 lead on their way to victory. Pasquantino's home run can be seen in the video above. It was his fifth home run of the year, and he has also added 25 RBIs. He plays first base and bats third in the lineup with a .256 batting average. 
Their top home run hitter has been Salvador Perez. He has eight on the year and also leads the team in RBIs with 32. Perez plays catcher and bats in the cleanup spot, also leading the team with a .328 batting average. Bobby Witt Jr. is their shortstop. He has five homers and 20 RBIs from the second spot in the order and also has a strong batting average at .318. Witt leads the team in stolen bases with 13 and has the most hits on the team with 48. Cole Reagans is a 26-year-old left-hander making his ninth start of the season for KC. He has a 2-2 record, and the team has gone 3-2 overall on his last five starts. He has a 3.38 ERA and is tied for 7th in the majors with 54 strikeouts on the year. He has allowed 15 walks and 2 home runs. In his most recent outing, he lasted 6.0 innings, giving up two earned runs to the Brewers in a 3-2 win. The Angels are in a tailspin, trying to figure out how to survive without Trout and avoid the basement of the AAL West. Meanwhile, the Royals are competitive in the AL Central, only a game and a half off the division lead. Tyler Anderson gets the start here for the Angels. He has the best ERA on the team, but they have still been losing games in his appearances lately. They lost their last five games with Anderson on the mound, and it has not been due to a lack of run production from their offense, as the Angels' offense scored five runs in two of his last three games. Riggins is on the mound for KC, and he is in the top 10 in the league in strikeouts. He has a powerful arm and should be able to dissect this lineup. The Royals have been strong offensively, they are 8th in the majors in run production and will be able to win on the road against this struggling LA team. Take the Royals to win. My total pick is... Over. Athletics versus Mariners. My team pick is... Oakland plus 1.5 runs. Currently, the Seattle Mariners are in the second position in the AL West. They have been performing impressively, averaging 3.77 runs and 7.36 hits per game. Their team batting average is .225, and they have an on-base percentage of .304. Furthermore, they have managed to maintain a positive run differential of plus 9. On the flip side, their opponents this season have been averaging 3.54 runs per game and making 6.85 hits. The opponent's batting average against the Mariners stands at .211, and they have an on-base percentage of .273. In every game where a betting line was involved, the Mariners have a run line record of 19 victories and 20 defeats. During this season's home games, they've successfully covered the run line in half of them, specifically 10 out of 20 games. Furthermore, following a victorious game, they've managed to cover the run line in 9 out of 20 instances. In their latest game, the Mariners were successful in covering the run line, a feat they've achieved in four of their past seven games. Currently, the Oakland Athletics are holding the third spot in the AL West. They have been showcasing an average performance this season, with 3.88 runs and 7.25 hits per game. Their team batting average stands at .221, coupled with an on-base percentage of .298. However, they are struggling with a negative run differential of minus 35. On the other side of the field, their opponents have been scoring slightly higher with 4.75 runs and collecting more hits, averaging 8.58 per game. These teams have managed to maintain a batting average of .254 and an on-base percentage of .330 against the Athletics this season. This season, the Oakland Athletics have secured a record of 22-18 against the run line. Their performance on the road has been commendable, with a 10-7 record against the run line. Interestingly, following a defeat, the Athletics have bounced back to cover the run line in 12 out of the 21 instances. Although they fell short of covering the run line in their latest game, they have a strong track record of covering it in 8 of their last 12 games. While the pitching matchup does not favor the Athletics, I like the run line trends for the Athletics. Go with the Oakland Athletics in Game 2 of the series against the Mariners. My total pick is... Over 7.5 runs. In the current season, the Seattle Mariners have had 25 out of their 39 games go under the posted total. When playing on their home turf, 
the Mariners have seen 13 out of 20 games go under the posted total. However, a shift in trend is observed in their last four games, which have all gone over the posted total. On the other hand, the Athletics have had 19 of their 40 games this season go under the posted total. When they are on the road, 9 out of their 17 games have gone under the posted total. Interestingly, just like the Mariners, Oakland's last four games have also gone over the posted total. While it may seem the under is the play in this game, the most recent trends appear to be the most telling. Go over the posted total in this AL West matchup.